circle theorems. The points A, B, C and D lie on the circumference of a circle, so on the outside of a circle, of a circle of centre 0, so 0 is the centre point, and angle B, C, D is 62 degrees. So it shows us going from B, the angle in the middle C to D is 62 degrees. Find the angle X, given a reason for your answer. If I continue drawing this line, A and C, C are both on the outside on the circumference of a circle. And what it means is the angle here, you've got something called a cyclic quadrilateral. So a four in, in a four-sided shape, a quadrilateral is a four-sided shape, the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. So to find the X, for this diagonally opposite is a 180, take away 62, which is 118 degrees. And the reason is opposite or diagonally opposite angles in the cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. Right, find the angle Y. Y now is at the centre of the circle and when you're looking at the centre of the circle the angle subtended at the centre so the angle enclosed at the centre so the angle subtended at the centre is double the angle on the outside the angle on the circumference of the circle So it's two times the angle on the circumference of the circle. So what that actually means now, you've got to decide which way is pointing. If I do the arc here, BAD, and go to O, that angle this side of the line is double 62. So if I'm doing that, you could either say double 62 is 124. So this angle here is 124. And then, because it makes a full turn, you could do it as 360 take away 124, because angles at the point or a full turn is 360. Or you could do the arc from the other side. And the arc from the other side, if I draw a big, big circle here, and then close it to make Y, the angle Y is double X. So Y is double X. So because Y is double X, because they both enclosed from the same arc so if i imagine that a circle there encloses y and then encloses x so because it's double x and we know x is 118 degrees it's 2 times 118 which is 236 degrees so there's two ways of working that one out right question number two points a b c and d lie on the circumference of a circle center zero BD is the diameter of the line, so that's all the way across through the middle. The straight line BC is 4 centimetres, and BAC, this angle here, is 28. Write down the size of BDC. Okay, so the BDC is angle B to D to C, so they want this angle here. Now, I don't know what you remember from circle theorems, but because BC is common, to both A and it's also common to D these two angles on the outside are both the same so BDC so angle D is going to be 28 degrees hence calculate the length of BD what I have here you might recognize because it's a diameter of a circle the other angle in a, in a circle is always a right angle triangle. So what that means, if I draw here, I go D to C to B, and I'm going to join them up. And that means if this angle here is 28, this angle here is 4.7, what I have now is one angle C, and if I join that in, that makes a right angle triangle. And because that makes a right angle triangle, I, I want to find... The length of BD, which is this one here, I know one side, one angle, and one to find. You should remember something called trigonometry. So trigonometry, if you remember, is Sokatoa, Sokatoa. So when you're dealing with Sokatoa, 
you label a triangle. The side opposite the right angle is the longest side, and that's called the hypotenuse. The side opposite the angle given, or what you want to find, is called the opposite. And the third side is called the adjacent. You then look what sides you're dealing with. You, you work, you've got a number next to opposite. So I'm ticking off opposite. And then you've got a question mark. You want to find the hypotenuse. So I'm ticking off H. So O and H. So I'm using so. So what so means, it means sine of the angle. So sine 28 is equal, O is next. So O is next, which stands for opposite. Over H is last and goes on the bottom, which is hypotenuse. I'm now going to replace, so I've got a sin 28. The opposite is 4.7, so it becomes 4.7 divided by question mark. And when you find in the question mark on the bottom, you swap them over. So the question mark goes up on the top and it, that comes down and becomes divide. And the answer becomes 4.7 divided by sine 28. Okay, so you're doing 4.7 divided by sine 28 on the calculator. And whatever the answer is, is the answer. Okay, thank you.